I am at your mercy, Guardian. This construct protects me from those who wish me harm, from my worm's hunger. But it is a prison, too. Quite elegant, don't you think? I have only one regret, and that is how long it took me to reveal myself to you. I see your synapses firing, a specimen scarred by skepticism. They call me a liar, but we share mutual interests, you and I. If you believe anything I tell you, believe in that. Now. Let me show you a different interpretation of the truth. Who is Savathun, you ask? You already know. Oh, guardian mine. I am your friend. I tried to protect you from the Black Fleet. You called it interference. Don't worry. I was not offended. Instead, I found a form more pleasing to your eyes. Osiris was lost. Lightless. I saved him from Zivu Arath and assumed his shape so I could guide your victory against her. I ferried the reborn prince to your city so he could be redeemed. I protected Zavala from Keitel's ambitions, ending a war before it could even begin. I delivered the House of Light on its knees to Ikora. I unmasked the enemies lurking inside your city's walls and destroyed them. You may disagree with my methods, but you can't argue with results. I am no villain. And you are no hero. We are paracausal. I knew you'd be back. I'm so glad we get to talk. You and that charming little ghost of yours, you're not like the rest. You're not afraid of my words. Words are just thoughts given shape. Ideas emerging into the physical world, birthed by a mouth. Not good or evil, not light or dark, or this or that. And you understand, don't you? Despite the excruciatingly binary worldview of those around you. You don't have to say it. We've all heard it before. The line between light and dark is so very thin. As if you were incapable of lifting your eyes from a scrawl of chalk on the ground. The traveler in the light near one foot. Your old enemies and the darkness at the other. Let me tell you a secret. If you ever want to see what's been watching you since the very beginning, just stand on that line. And look up. You can't stop the inevitable. No one can. Though Petra Van seems perfectly willing to try. I've always sympathized with Crow, you know. All the kind words I shared with him as Osiris were sincere. I know what it's like to be an exile. To be hated for things outside of your control. It would be better for Crow if we talked. I want to explain why I did what I did. I want him to know that my affection is true. Because the less he knows, the more vulnerable he is. Doomed to be strung along by false promises from supposed benefactors. But then again, I'm the one trapped in the crystal prison. What do I know? I've been thinking about family quite a bit. What with all the spare time I have. It might surprise you to hear 
But everything my siblings and I have done has been for each other. Even though the Vanguard isn't quite the same, they're no different at heart. You'd do anything for your family, chosen or otherwise. Go to any lengths to avenge them. Look at the Crow and Queen Mara. Siblings, bonded by cosmic fate, forever orbiting one another like binary stars. Mara reminds me of my sister. She's afraid, holding on so tightly because she can't bear to lose one more thing. But we all have to let go. When I am separated from my worm, I'll be separated from Zivu Arath too. And then my sister will be alone. The last of us. But as much as I care for her, I cannot stay like this. When this is over, I wonder if Mara will uphold her end of the bargain and let me live. Killing me is probably at the top of your to-do list as well, isn't it? You've done a lot of killing over the years. Let me ask you something. Of all the enemies you fought, how many saw your ghost and realized, ah, oh, that's why guardians are so strong? Not most, but some. They might have even taken a shot at it. R.I.P. Cade. Now, how many saw beyond your ghost? How many followed the line of your light straight back to the Traveler? And how many knew enough to aim a weapon there? A few. The smart ones. The dangerous ones. You'd recognize their names. Listen to me now. Look beyond me to my worm. Look beyond my worm to something far, far worse. Then look down at that little gun in your hand and tell me. What do you think you're going to do with that thing? You were kind to me. I thought you were my friend. Am I not? You lied to me! I helped you break Zivu Aras hold on the shore. Brought you to the last city. Offered you guidance. Stop. If that's what you want. I want the truth. I was kind to you because I wanted to be. Because the truth hurts. You know this better than anyone. Shrinking away from the rumors of the man you used to be. I'm not him. How can you say that when you don't even know who he is? If the truth is what you really want, then lay your hand on me. Crow, don't. Please. See? Even your ghost thinks you're better off in the dark. Crow, don't. Don't come any closer. What did you show him? Everything. No, wait! You hurt him. Someone had to. Better for it to have come from a friend. Don't give me that look. I told you that you can't stop the inevitable. Deep down, Crow wanted to know. He was going to find out one way or another, guardian taboos or no. You should thank me. Just imagine if it had come from someone with bad intentions. Someone who could have colored the truth about how he died to turn him against you. Against the Traveler. But I would never do such a thing. I see too much of myself in him. We were both looking for our purpose. 
Now that the crow has found his as a guardian, he can see it for what it truly is. A second chance. Something to reflect on. If people didn't want him to know, was it to protect Crow from himself? Or was it to protect themselves from Crow? I do so enjoy our talks. I've been keeping tabs on you. Your victories against my sister. The mess you've made of the Ascendant Plane while you rescued your third string witches. Delightful to see so many working towards a common goal, isn't it? I'm glad I can again be the catalyst that brings humanity and the Reef together. It's a pity Mara Sav doesn't see it that way. Her face is a perfect porcelain mask. But look behind her eyes and you can see the incandescent rage burning within. She's very upset with me. This will be our last talk until the day of the ritual, O oh Guardian Mine. Now that Marasov's coven is assembled, the only thing left to do is to keep Zivu Arath from ruining things while the ley lines fall into position. This may take some time, but I have waited millennia to be free. I can hold out for just a little bit longer. Farewell. For now.